Hey there, and welcome back to Franchise Mode in Planet Zoo. Today, we are finally bringing in some animals into our Mexican area of our Franchise Mode, which is Newport Bay. Just a little reminder, that is our overall area. And you can see, um, this is down here, the port area. This is somewhat uh, Thaos... Yeah, South America, and this is more specifically Mexico. And uh, you guys actually gave some really good inputs to who is actually your favorite um, or what was the favorite building. And I think people really tend towards the Lima Street, which is um, the building from Dommel. But all of those are great. Also, what I want to say, first of all, um, today's episode will be fixing this habitat, bringing the animals into these habitats. And then what we will do is basically getting a little bit of customization into um, this area, getting some uh, buildings in here in the back, like, you know, uh, these, these typical um, stuff you need, like backstage and so on. Um, and then we will go on, make uh, ready how this looks. But, you know, I will limit this episode to 25 minutes and I will then give you at the end of today's episode the theme for the next area we are in. Um, next Friday uh, might be then already the start of the next area or we will push it one more week. Uh, depends a little bit on how much we have done in the Mexico area. I don't want to stress myself, you know, we go on as much as we can, but I don't want to make these episodes like insanely insanely long uh, that's not the target um one thing we need to do um we need to first of all before we go on uh delete some of these buildings if not all of them um simply because uh, they caused the problem here with the bottom uh, i got a message from the creator um but the problem is it wasn't the elephant grass that caused these issues and um, these issues were only caused by these buildings in combination with the elephant grass and um, i tried some things but the easiest fix was going back to this save file here and then basically taking that bit here and doing just like that you know that's the that's the easy fix over here because now we should have already fixed uh the bottom part which looks to be yeah looks to be that way good stuff and then um we can basically put these buildings in and so on and then we we can go from there so i think we had some shops or so in here um so let's put a i think we can just utilize that building and then uh, just go into facilities, no blueprints please, um, let's have a pizza pen here, a pizza pen, I have no idea, <laughs> wow, um, and we're gonna take something to drink, a galpi soda, uh, yep, a galpi soda here, good stuff, so from here 4 meter path, um, elephant grass below the ground, okay, this is, um, I think this is good, because then, yeah, because then the animals cannot go there and climb there but people can go in and keepers cannot go out uh, you know the drill you know how that is in these buildings um did i delete all of the signs yeah i did um okay so we've done that uh, is there glass in here by the way oh yeah there is glass in here is that a barrier no it's just a glass building that's cool okay so this is that this is that there is an entrance to a habitat um this was an open space so i think we have two habitats basically in here we've got this one you know um where I think there's no glass in here, right? No, I think this is where I need to put the barrier in. Um, and then that should be it. Okay, so barriers, uh, we have still this odd thing down there in the ground, which I'm going to go to and just, <laughs> just delete this one. Uh, edit the barrier and then give me all of it and delete it. We've got this little hole down there, but that just really doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go and put a habitat gate. Let me just go back. There's going to be one here, you know, there's one here, awesome. And we're going to put another one down just on the other side, barrier and another habitat gate goes all the way in here. I still have no clue why sometimes I can move the habitat gates like without the um, angle snap and sometimes it's just impossible, like legit impossible to keep that going, but I have really no clue what that is. Um, first of all, can I make you, can I make you this because that looks a little bit better. Awesome. And then we can, yeah, yeah, incomplete. Thank you so much for that great information. I'm just gonna pull that over here, and then we can pull you all the way here. Look, that's perfection. Now we switch over to glass, and gonna put you down here. And we do the same in here. Whoops. Can we just... Thank you. I can make that a little longer, you know, that we at least are a little bit more close to where we want to go. 
There you go. Uh, I'm going to push you a little bit further in so that we do have that one corrected. Nice. And going to do the same. Let's go to five meters. That should already be the perfect length. There you go. There you go. That looks perfect. Uh, let me just um, switch that a little bit further in. There you go. And then what is that? Is that also like an entrance into that building? Like where you can have like a... It doesn't really make that much sense, does it? I mean, okay, we, we keep that open. Um, maybe later, but for now, I'll, I'm going to keep it that way. And then we can just go back to this mode for over here. Is that already in, in the wall? No, it's not. So I'm going to put that here. And there you go. Habitat number one is done. Um, I think that's pretty neat. I think that's really neat. And then we've got an outside. I think... Let me just quickly see. Um, let me just go to Zoopedia. Whoops. Uh, yeah, no, I did not want to go there. Anyways, um, I want to see, can I, I would love to be able to search for some areas, you know, let's say South America, but that just doesn't work. Um, I want to go and see the proboscis monkey. Where is this thing living, by the way? Okay, it's not like it's anything we could put to Mexico. Um, we do have, obviously, the lemurs. Uh, the red ruffed lemur is living here, but I think you can still put that one if you wanted to. I mean, we do have the ring-tailed lemur, which um, is also living in... I, I thought that there are also some lemurs in Mexico, so they're not only in here as far as I understood, but, you know, that's just me. Um, and, and then there were some, obviously, the jaguar would be, but we do already have the jaguar, so uh, <laughs> that looks like a funky face over here. Um, what is the, What about the Komodo dragon? I think the Komodo dragon is also not really anything we can have here, right? No. Uh, then we have, um, what about the Nile monitor? I mean, I think this one also not correctly. No, that's also here in Africa. What else do we have? Like, we have the llama. Can we have the llama? The llama goes for Mexico, obviously. We have the uh, tape, the normal tape here would work, I guess. Um, what else would we have in here? We would also have the... Okapi is also not living there. Is there anything else we could do? I mean, I... Obviously, I want to have something that goes there, and I'm really not sure if... We will definitely have the lemurs both in there, um, but, 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 but the southern category is obviously Australia. Is there anything else? Titan beetle. Okay, this one is definitely going to go to Mexico, the title be Titan, Titan beetle. Um, we do have the sun bear, which is not there. We've got the... yeah. We've got the yellow anaconda, which we are going to put into Mexico. You know, we, we just go a little bit out of this roaster because I think it's, it's not going to work exactly this way. So we're going to put some animals that would live in, I think, in the uh, in the climate. I think that's a good thing. Um, and then this was also a habitat Donald said to me. Like, you could put animals in here and they can just actually, as you can see, they can, they can move up here and then climb over the street. They can just climb over here into the other side and there's like a bit of stuff in here, but they they can actually roam around and, and, and just live in that habitat. And my idea was to give them like a huge, a huge habitat now um, in which they can roam around. And uh, this is basically the building, you know, that's definitely the building what we have over here. And since uh, I want to make sure that this is going to be the backstage area, we are going to make the entrance to that habitat on uh, on this side so we, we we would actually have the habitat gate here if you wanted to and then you could make like a viewing gallery on that side um but i decided to rather go for like a viewing maybe through some windows over here i thought you know why not have this thing go and this thing go and then we're gonna create like a like a little window you know uh, we're just going to take that one and we're just going to make this go like so Whoops, 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 come on, go down. There you go. And then we could have like a, I think this frame could work. Like a frame like this, if that makes any sense, you know. And then we can just uh, go and take it. That's one meter grid side is perfection. Ah, okay, well, then I'm just going to move that a little bit closer to the center. Ah, what a pity. I, w I thought that would work. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to take those things. They are not like Mexican, but I think it, it still works quite well together. So I'm just going to put that here and here. And then obviously we need some glass. Um, no blueprints, please. And we just need those glass panels. 
Yeah, well, let's take the big one. It just doesn't really matter. We can also like, take a smaller one. There you go. And there you go. Move that further back. Boom. And then, you know, we have that window where they can also watch inside. I think that's fine um, to do it that way. And now let's just create the gate entrance. See, that's what I mean. Now it just doesn't work. I mean, can I just, if I take the barriers again, disable angle snap and just, it it's so weird. Now it just has the, I can't move it without. I I still don't get this. It's not like a huge deal, but it's, it's actually weird. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you guys have an explanation to that, uh, please let me know, but I, certainly do not have an explanation for that so we are going to put this all in here and then we go to obviously that one we're gonna put that all the way here we can we'll actually connect that to this corner and then we can plus out over here um i think it might make sense that we oh this is glass now yeah that's perfection because um we need this barrier as a glass barrier then over here um are we where are we actually are we still oh we are still in that build yeah that's fine let's just yeah, yeah okay we can now go to the invisible barrier again and just bring that all the way back here look is there a space for them where they can roam around yes actually there is so we're just gonna go all the way around the building i guess to make it really work there you go. I'm just going to be a bit more wide. It doesn't matter. And then we connect here. Awesome. We did the connection. So that's that's the one thing we needed to do here. And again, we have one habitat there, one habitat there. Let's quickly do this one as well. Um, so we've got all the habitats covered. And now let's just plop an invisible barrier. Oh, that's actually so cool. You know what? We can... This is like the viewing galleries. So what we are doing is basically doing that like so and then drag it all the way here and then we keep that inside oops like so and then we put that here there you go and we can be a little bit more blah 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 like this you know it doesn't really matter and then i still want to wait are these bamboo fences cl wait they're climbable aren't they I remembered that these bamboo fences were climbable. Please don't tell me they are climbable because then I have like a like a huge issue here. <laughs> I think they are, right? I mean, we will see this in a bit, but still I'm confused because I think they are. I think they are climbable, which uh, would obviously cause some problems. Problems. There you go. This is the this is the fence. Okay, we've got three habitats over here, which is insane. But before we uh, do the habitats, we're actually connecting uh, all the path. Okay, uh, and we still have we still have that area, and we've got one more build I forgot last time. So there's quite a bit of stuff we need to do. Um, so this is obviously where we need. You know what? We can we can just quickly put the path down here as well. There you go. This is where the gate is. Let me just uh, go out here and then we can just follow, follow the sun, no, follow the line actually, making that look somewhat nice. There you go. I think that's, that's pretty much how we need to do this. And then let's just go all the way around here. Oh, I was about to fix that pond as well in the middle, which we will also do. Uh, it was a little bit of a, a little bit of sad thing that it didn't work. Um, I know exactly why, but it, it's something we need to need to fix with some barriers. There's like no other way of doing that. Um, oh, look at that! We we do we did miss out on something, like so, and we do the same over here. Um, oh, that that was the oh, that's actually good to know. Then we can put these down. <laughs> look at that! It's a little bit stretched, but it's it's good because then I know which which one that is exactly. So there's the green iguana we can actually get this real quick you know um i don't have them in here but you know we can go for the green iguana there you go let's see we oh look at that a golden one give me the golden one that was a golden male how about the female that one is good that one is good okay well we've got these two one two send to zoo that's like a good rhyme over here okay um busted rhymes okay uh this is the 
rattlesnake, right? Oh god, I should, I should. Okay, Western Diamond rattlesnake. Okay, let, let's put these in. You know, if the creator uh, intended them to be in here, why not? So this is the Western Diamond rattlesnake. Okay, we've got two specimens here. That's the better one. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, those two are good stuff. So bring them in. Nice. Okay, and what's that over here? Oh, that's a scorpion. Oh my god, this is the money printing machine. Um, I guess we do already have them, right? The scorpion. I'm not sure if we have it right now, but we are going to go for the scorpion. That's a desert scorpion, right? Oh, is it? Oh. How is that called again? Uh, the giant desert hairy scorpion. That's how. <laughs> That's how it's called. Okay, one female and one male. They will breed like crazy and we will get money like crazy. Okay, so filled in. Really nice. You know what? If we are just over here, we can just really quickly uh, fix that little problem we had over here. So what we are going to do is we are basically going to make that a little pond um, with the help of the wonderful barriers. Uh, what we have to do for that is to follow as much as we can. And see, this is where already the problems start. Uh, can I, yeah, well, see, this is, this is something I need to do in order to be away from the path because it's just sticking a little bit inside there. So I'm trying to bring that back as soon as I can into the wall, but if I can't, I will keep it here, yeah. Well, then I, I'm gonna keep it here, but I, I will lower it down as much as I can so it still looks good, I guess. Um, uh, okay, that doesn't work either, so let me just... I should have also done it straight. In this case, straight works better, I guess. Um, ah, that's one of these seldom cases where straight pieces are the better choice, but still... Oh, look at that! This is where the... Oh my god, the path is just going nuts over here. Um, you know what? Well, we are just going to do that differently then. We're just going to... The water height is actually not that dramatic, so what we're going to do, we're ba basically bringing that over here. And this is just meant to be no water anyways. So we can actually also be a bit more like this. It doesn't really matter too much to be super precise. I, I like the fact to be quite precise, but now we should be able to get the water out. And Oh my god, see, this is what I meant. I <laughs> uh, we can actually bring this one once higher. Uh, is that like... This is still in here, right? Um, how about one, one step less? This is, wait, is that like the meter step we have? Jesus. Okay, then it was quite a good idea to have it that way. Um, I, this is ah, okay because the whole build was. I really, I, I do know why it happened this way because the whole disrupts. What? Are you kidding me? It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't work because of the path, right? I should now delete the path and then redo the path. And oh my goodness me, no! Okay, well let's just do this. Do that. At least bring it down to this height. Oh, and because I don't have the subterranean thing, hopefully I can still put the water in. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm just leaving it like that. I think it's fine. It's fine this way. It still looks better than what it would without and. I can I can definitely deal with this. I can deal with this. Okay, that's 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 doable. That's fine. Um, 18 minutes in. Oh my god, time is running crazy in this in this episode. Um, at least I want to start doing the infrastructure, and then we do have to make that in the next episode. Um, or I do it off screen. You know, I, I I keep that open to me. I keep that open to me. Um, how I do this and what I do with this, because again, at the moment, I think it's it's more about the experience for you rather than rather than rushing it, you know, I, I, I just don't want to rush it. I still want to give you the topic for the next themed area because you guys had such an such an amazing idea actually. So I, I wanted to do that and uh, wanted to tell you at least today. So I think that's a good idea. Um, oh, by the way, let's just put down the Mexican habitat. Is it, why is it not here? Mexican, is that because of the E? No, habitat. I'm still confused. There was one blueprint I had and I found this that I subscribed to it, but it, it does not appear in my game. Where is it? It was kind of a Mexican habitat, but uh, it, it just doesn't appear. 
Okay, let me just see if I find this by scrolling through carefully. So this is my blueprints, this is Steam Workshop. Okay, it's the aquatic... Did I use them, by the way? I think I used some of those. Okay, um, that is all that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, my goodness. Why is it not here? Was such a was such a cool little habitat like for Mexico, um, but I. It's also not locked, you know. We have the reptile house, yeah, but I. I just don't know. Why does it not appear in my? I, I just really checked the name again, before the episode. So that's why I'm even more confused now. Shelter blueprint, the running camel. That's not the one. I really don't get it. Why does it not appear in the game? Do I have too many blueprints already in? Is that maybe the issue? Um, I have to check that. I have to check that and bring it in because that's like a kind of nice little habitat that goes in. Wait, can I just really quickly? We are in here, you know. I'm, I'm going to check it right now because that is really not the way it should be. It's really not the way it should be. I'm, I'm awfully confused. I'm just looking up the, the exact name now. Because otherwise, I'm, again, I'm not really, I really don't, I really don't understand. I really don't understand, guys. So it, it tells me I'm subscribed and it's called Mexican Exhibit by Dreesunder7. I, I honestly have no clue why. Can I? I'm just going to go to the workshop right now and you can't see that but i'm doing this right now and i'm gonna use it the mexican exhibit and it is it tells me it is subscribed i don't get that desubscribe and subscribe again i mean it's exhibit not habitat but still it should be let's just open that again Go to all and let's type in exib ex. It's not in. It's it's not in. Are you kidding me? I subscribe. I just subscribe. This is so wild. Mexican. It's not in here. It's not in here. I've got no clue why. Oh my boy. Okay. Never mind. Um, oh god, I've, I've, got, I've got no clue how to actually change that, but okay, um, we're gonna put the welcome to Mexico sign here now. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make too much of it look bad, so I'm gonna put this there. Um, and then I'm going to make sure that, you know, we have a nice little welcoming area, which that is the, that is the wonderful connection. And then we bring it all the way down here and connect this to this path. I love it. Okay, cool. As this is connected, we can now go and make sure that this is all connected over here as well. Just gonna make this like a nice little pathy path and then just go through here. And then we need to bring this, well, somewhat along this habitat. I'm just gonna, no, I can't. Let me just put that down like so. Blah, 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 blah. The baby is crying down there. Why? What's going on with the baby? I have to... I have to check in a couple minutes what is going on with our little baby. I think she can't be hungry, so it might be something else. Um, okay, let's just change the width real quick and get rid of angle, snappity snap. No, I want to keep that and go over here and that is going to go to four meters then. I'm just going to bring it all the way over here into this wonderful viewing area, which first of all, I'm just going to make it like that and then build a path like so and now that should connect real easily look at that brilliant yeah for whatever reason this is not it i i legit hate that if if shops like that are floaty um okay well we have to wait can i i, I want to select only the two shops okay okay this is one building um i'm going to just um, okay, can I select only those two, split them from the building, raise them a tiny bit so that they, yeah, this, this is better. I mean, it's looking a little bit odd, uh, but I think it's fine. It's definitely better this way. 
and then uh, we're going to solve that issue here in a bit. Wait, we first of all, we're going to make sure that there's a lovely connection over here. Uh, that's that's almost fine. I'm just going to delete this. <laughs> and oh my god, I, I I knew that I knew that this is going to happen. And now we can make like a four meter path work. Or we can't I don't know and then you can bring this in here it's it's kind of random that you can bring them in I'm not sure if I want this even it's a nice idea but I'm not sure if I want this we're gonna keep it open for the moment all right and now we have to decide which animals go in here and I think I keep that open for you guys you know we, we make one more week and you can decide upon which animals go into which habitat so what we have is the two pyramid habitats um, I think one of them would be cool for llamas not gonna lie this is going to be the lemur street and I think you know lemur street is kind of nice I do want to have the proboscis monkey in here as well so if you guys are happy with that let me know in the comments because um, if that's fine if we can do it we can still have the proboscis monkey uh, if, if needed in another area but this is how it is right now okay um, I think this is, is going going in a very very neat direction I think I'm gonna take one of Oh, this is gonna be like a very nice little screenshot for today. Um, cool! Guys, I really hope you are as happy as I am uh, with this build. Oh, don't we take that one? Maybe, maybe have a... Maybe we have one more lemur already in and have it running over there. I think this is kind of cool, you know. I think this would be kind of cool. Let's do this real quick. Um, facilities... Death facilities. I'm gonna bring like a big keeper hut in here. It's gonna be like the facilities go here. Keeper hut, two, uh, one, two, uh, X, I don't know, and a trade center goes in as well. And then we just connect that path. Uh, the trade center is only because I, I'm too lazy to wait them for them. I, I want to make this look better soon, okay? <laughs> this looks like crap. <laughs> Animal trading, uh, let's go. Do we have actually lemurs in here? Blah, 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 blah. We don't, okay. Well, let's go for lemurs then. We first of all go with the with the ring tail. That, that's what we need to have. Ring tail. No. Nope. 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 Ring tail lemur. Confirm. I'm gonna have uh, this male. I'm gonna have this female. I'm gonna have this male. Uh, is there like another good? This is also not a bad female. And we might have another male. Oh my god, this is this one's also nice. Okay, it was like a five of them in. Four? Didn't didn't I get five? I got three males, are you kidding me? Um alright, let's just get another female in then. And another female. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. And I'm going to bring you invalid destination. How? No path destination. But there is. How is that not okay? Um, you tell me, but why? Do I have to connect that path like with the staff? I mean, I can now do this just for the sake of doing it. I have no clue if that's helping, but I'm just going to connect that. Oh my god, this looks ugly. Um, let's have a look if that works now. Like for real. No path destination, ringtail. How? This is definitely connected. Do I have to hit play first? That they first of all check that. This is a habitat, right? Ring-tailed lemur. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna employ another keeper here. And you are going to work. New work zone. I'm going to work here with the lemurs. There you go. Um. And now that should work, right? Why wouldn't it work? Let me just see. It makes... Did I send them here now? Did I send them there? I have no... I have absolutely no clue if I did. Um, let me just see what happens if we put down a few caretakers. So do they actually grab them now? You got one job, yeah. Let's see, let's see where they bring them. I want to really, really quickly see that. Let's just speed up the process. Right, they bring them in. That was so wild. Why didn't that work? <laughs> I have no freaking clue. Okay, um, tell me, 
if Dommel did a good job. Also, we will obviously do the uh, the kind of little nice, um, how's that called again, uh, monument for Dommel. That's gonna be done definitely for uh, for you, Dommel, because you deserve that. Let me just see terrain. Oh, terrain is actually already pretty okay. So grass short is a little bit too high. Grass long is a little bit too less. We can definitely change that, like definitely. Um, there's basically no soil in here, but okay. Um, so first of all, we can we can give them some some long long grass down here, you know. Um, that's enough. Okay, and then on this side, we're gonna give them some heavy soil, and then they should be happy, right? Uh, still too much sand though, which I have no clue where's this. Oh, the sand is on the street, I guess, right? Um, what what what? We can we can put rock down here. Good, done. <laughs> That's that was easy. Um, coverage of plants is okay. You know there could be more, there could be less, I guess. Enrichment shouldn't be too well. Okay, well let's quickly do this. Um, so we have done that. Um, so ring tail, ring ring should be fine. And then no blueprints, please. The problem about the stuff is we. Okay, I mean we can put some of the stuff up here. Uh, because they can get there, you know, we can put some... They play with the rubber duck. I, I want to see them play with the rubber duck. That... So, wait. Lemur. Is it still... Yeah, okay. I was a bit confused because that was obviously the, uh, the giraffe, I think, which was also in there. In the mix, I guess. Um, uh, oh, there's one mirror mobile. Look at that. There were some enrichment items already by Dommel, of course. He, he of, of course, he did that job. Um, and we've got the forage box. Can we put that in here? Yes, we can. Hey, let me just put that in here because we still have to check that the keeper can get there. So the keep. Wait, no, there is a bridge. So the keeper can, in fact, walk over to this side, right? And then in here. That is pretty neat. So we can put the forager here, and we can also put the rolling thingy here. Yeah, right. They should be happy by now. Oh, they are super happy. Okay, look at that. We also have some sunlight going on over here. Actually, the wrong sunlight, because that way we can't really make a nice screenshot of that. But I will speed up the game and then maybe have one. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of uh, Mexico. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but it's okay. I think you guys um, get along with it. And I really hope that you enjoy still this franchise. The next theme is going to be pirate-themed. I love the idea to not be in, a, in an area. I love the idea to actually theme it. So let's do a pirate cove or something. So what I need from you guys is anything related to pirates. Pirate ship as a habitat, a little pirate cave, a little pirate barrel, whatever, you know. Um, I don't want to give you too many restrictions, so go crazy with pirates, and then I will try to assemble a nice little pirate area. Don't you worry, this area over here is far from being done, so next week will still be Mexico, but we will start with the pirate stuff. You can drop the links in my guild, as always, or send them as a um, wonderful uh, link to my email address, however you want, um, but you, you can start a Ready. And the next week I'm going to do a reminder and the week after uh, we will start finally with the pirate themed area. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that one. I'm really looking forward to what you create for the pirate area and then we see each other in the next episode. Have a wonderful week and one last reminder, this Sunday finally City Skylands is going to start on my channel. I would love if every single one of you who has a little bit of an interest in City Skyland at least gives it a shot and gives me some feedback on the first episode. That would help me a lot and would actually give me a good insight on, on how you're liking that. It's It really was something I was planning for a long time and I really enjoyed throughout Lee, so that would be lovely. So thank you guys so much as always. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and goodbye.